Welcome everybody to our fifth tutorial. In this tutorial I will present you how you can add a menu to the to the view and also how you can play with the WebDIM Pro event handling. For any question you are free to <coughs> write an email on this address. Okay. We can go to the view. In the view we see that we have this context menu. Okay, we need to Edit the data. Okay, now can edit. And we create a context menu. We put just a menu. Okay. And then we put a title. I don't know menu. And then to this menu we insert other menu. That's menu action one. And it's a menu action item, okay. Then we can add a separator and we can put here the menu separator. And then we can put another action, I don't know, menu action 2, menu action item, okay. But this one needs some action. For this one, we need to create an action. Menu, menu, action one. And this UI event parameter means that we will have in this method the context element and the ID. Okay, let's go back. Let's add also an action to the second action menu action 2, ok, we take the UI event parameter <coughs> ok, and then we just need this um, we need also to put a text action 1 action 2 ok then we just need to go to the table and here we will say that this table don't have a context menu behavior which is inherited and we will provide this context menu and we give this context menu to the table okay now when we click on the table right click we our menu will appear and also we can make something on this action for example we can go here we have the message manager and we can report them no first let's take from the context element we take the get we take the get static attributes okay and also we create the data ls Sector structure type really this and we take the element element flight list because it's just a structure okay we put this here <coughs> then because we have our reference in the message manager created previously we just report success and in this message text we can provide I don't know a text from example ls ls structure I think it will go ok we need to give maybe just the airline yeah now it works let's activate everything we go to our application to test it ok let's test it and now ok it works if we go back and we take this code and we put it in the menu action 2 and here we specified another attribute from the structure from example the airline ID ok let's activate everything and now we can go to our application to see how the different action behaves 
if we press action 1 okay <coughs> we have American Airlines if we press action 2 we have the airline ID okay now let's play with the events and let's see how we can how we can handle this redundant calling of the method get message manager for this we will go in the component controller on the event tab and uh, we will create an <coughs> event ok let's make it interface maybe we will handle it also in other events and now let's go back here now we just need from the component controller to raise the event that we have created fire ok but also a very important thing is that we need to put a parameter to this event let's go back we put here a title let's be string ok then we just go back to the main and now we can press here the title equals ls airline id we pass it as a parameter then copy this code and then we raise this event but ok we raise it but then we need to catch it and for catch it we need to declare an, an event handler and uh, ok on so many change something change and the event it is this event something change from the component controller ok and we will see that we have automatically this parameter title and you remember that we have copied this method and because we have copied this method we put here just this the title ok now we go to the action 2 yeah, to the action 1 and we do the same thing copy this because we will pass it and here we just make a vd com controller fire something change ok here we put what we want let's active ok because this is a type of string we need to do to put here a string and to concatenate to our attribute from the component so the mechanism is that when we will press this action for example action 1 then we raise this event with the parameter and then it will be handled by this method and this method take the parameter and we press our business logic in our case let's see how it works and I hope you get it ok when we are on the action 1 ok when we have the action 2 yes so it works very good for any questions don't hesitate to write me I will answer you if I will have time. Bye, have a nice day.